When it comes to 5G technology, I think we've reached the point now where we can find 5G in almost every connected device on the market. Uh, we're talking about obviously smartphones, uh, hotspots, or even gateways powering your home's internet using 5G technology because T-Mobile offers us all of these options and even more. But today we're going to focus on four different devices from T-Mobile, the Rebel 6 and the Rebel 6 Pro. Again, 5G entry-level budget-friendly devices. We're also talking about the T-Mobile hotspot that features an all-day battery, 5G technology, and the ability of connecting up to 32 devices at the same time to said 5G technology. And last but not least is their home gateway, the ability of being the center or the, uh, the connection hub to all of your smart experiences on the home, from your TVs, your tablets, anything that connects at the home, connecting it through an internet gateway powered by T-Mobile 5G technology. Technology. All of these devices we're going to talk about today are powered by MediaTek. And what that means is the Dimensity 700 is the basically the processing power of the Rebel 6 and the 6 Pro, and MediaTek technology is powering both the gateway and, of course, the hotspot to provide you not only better connectivity, but also that all the experience utilizing the technologies that we have in there. So without further ado, today we're going to check out these 5G connected devices from T-Mobile. <music> Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here we have the devices. We have the Rebel 6 and the Rebel 6 Pro, triple camera and quad camera set up here, powered by the Dimensity 700. We have the T-Mobile hotspot we talked about, again, up to 32 devices on T-Mobile 5G. And last but not least is the home gateway, the ability of connecting uh, basically T-Mobile internet directly to the home and be the center of your internet life at home for connecting all your smart devices, be it tablet, PCs, uh, TVs, anything that requires internet access can go through here even if you need to connect them via wire. So this also features an option to be able to use uh, basically Ethernet uh, connection straight into the actual portal itself. So the Rebel 6 and the Rebel 6 Pro, the 6 is on the right and the 6 Pro is on the left, are powered by the Dimensity 700. So that's at its core the experience that we're going to be getting from MediaTek. Uh, the price point difference here is 170 here for the uh, the Rebel 6 to 219, so a little bit of a different price, but we definitely get a different camera setup here, triple camera to a quad camera setup. We have a larger display, a larger battery, 4500 milliampere, the 6.5 inch display. This is an HD display, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage, expandable up to two terabytes with an SD card. And we have a 13, two and two megapixel camera. That's gonna be the camera setup here on the back with a five megapixel camera on the front for the Rebel 6. Again, $170 provided on T-Mobile and depending on the options and the, uh, and the different promotions, you may even be able to pick this up for free directly with their options, but make sure to check out your local store. Now, when it comes down to the Rebel 6 Pro, this is where it changes a little bit. We have six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, still have the ability of using uh, the connected, well, the SD card up to two terabytes. Uh, we have a 50 megapixel camera, primary shooter, a five ultra wide and a two and a two, so two depth and two macro. On the front, we have a 16 megapixel camera as opposed to the five that we have in there. And this is a 6.82 inch HD plus display. Now, one of the things you'll probably say is, well, TK, these are not featuring HD or well, full HD this resolution. Well, that's one of the things about what's going on with this device. This is a budget friendly content consumption device. It enables us to have a large display, 4,500 milliampere on the six and 5,000 milliampere on the six pro. And it is optimized to run for an extended amount of time with the Dimensity 700. The processor is more than enough for everything that we need to do on social media, responding to emails, watching content, taking pictures and everything that we need. They're not, they're definitely not the most powerful ones on the market, but again, at 170 to 219 dollars, we're definitely getting the best bang for the buck experience here with these devices. Again, both featuring 5G technology on T-Mobile. Now, one of the main things I love about them is the fact that they're able to give us fast, reliable 5G connection on this. You can see here, I'm able to get up to 363 or 250 down and from 25 to 31 down, depending on the area and where you are, you'll be able to get really good connection. Now, of course, at home, I'm running them on Wi-Fi, but when you're outdoors, it's gonna be really nice and very reliable. And the 5G technology on T-Mobile is becoming much better at uh, working in the home, as we're gonna talk about when we get over to using, obviously, the uh, mobile hotspot as well as actually using their home gateway. Uh, the biggest thing about them is that they both feature HD, large HD displays for content consumption, large batteries, the processing power of the Dimensity 700, and of course, the ability of basically enjoying content on the go and even when you're at home. So if you're at home, you're being able to connect to their connections and of course, uh, watch content. You can see here the large display makes it so much more functional. 6.82 to 6.5 inches, watching my favorite content, Demon Slayer, when I'm on the go or even at home. One of the biggest things obviously is the ability of utilizing the full display, the beautiful technology that we have in here. And of course, allow it to actually be the center of our entire our internet hub. 
So really nice, budget-friendly, bang for the buck type of an experience. Again, the 6 Pro does feature that primary sensor, the 50 megapixel camera that you're also able to take 50 megapixel images using the camera setup that we have in the back. Uh, we have a headphone jack present on both of them, SD card support for expendable options, USB-C as well as a bottom firing speaker, no stereo speakers unfortunately, but we definitely have a fingerprint sensor present on the right with a red magenta color for the fingerprint sensor as well as the power button with the volume rocker sitting right there. Um, on the top, pretty much just uh, a microphone for the camera. And of course, on the side is that SIM tray with the SD card option. One of the biggest things that I love about the Dimensity 700 is the fact that this processor is a very good power or bang for the buck type of an experience. It has a very nice balance between power and efficiency so that we're able to use our device entirely normally and it runs and it loads things very fast for us. We can enjoy very nice images and videos directly with the camera setup that we have here on both the Revel 6 Pro. You're getting a very good bang for the buck experience and a very good processor to help you last a lot longer than some of the other options. The combination of the HD plus or the HD display with the 5000 milliamp battery and the Dimensity 700 means that this device is going to last you a very long time for enjoying your movies, taking videos, or even just playing games on this because it will actually run a few games on it. But the biggest benefit here is that it's very fluid and very capable and of course provided to us with a very good package of, uh, here at a very affordable price directly on T-Mobile. Now the T-Mobile hotspot is a very much well-inclusive or all-inclusive system. It does feature a SIM card tray, so it's present here on the left side. You can open up the port and you need to insert that activated directly with T-Mobile and you're pretty much set to go. It does feature a basically 640, well, 6460 milliampere battery built in here. And it does sell for about $198 on T-Mobile for the device itself. And of course, you do need to set up a line for it. Uh, but the benefit of it is the fact that this will not drain your smartphone. If you're on the go and if you ever had the situation like I have with my son, he wants to connect his tablet, he wants to connect his gaming phone. And I, at the time, I'd end up basically sharing my hotspot, but it ends up taking away out of my hotspot every single time on top of the fact that it drains my battery. The large battery that we have on this device, which has basically been connected all day and I'm still down to 33% at the end of the day, uh, means that I'm actually able to share my Wi-Fi 6 connection here with up to 32 devices. And not only that, even though it technically features 5G technology on T-Mobile, it still features 4G LTE, which means that if I'm outdoors and let's say I'm in an area where 5G is not available, it will fall back on 4G LTE and give us the best connection possible and share that connection with all the connected devices to it. Now, what I'm showing you right now is a few clips of me using this or having my son use this with us when we were at a swim meet a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and that's one of the main benefits. I'm able to allow having that connection with us in the car, on the go. And for me, I love using this one even when I'm sitting in my car and my Tesla because I don't want to pay an extra $10 for my car to have internet access. Tesla allows us now to have the ability of using Wi-Fi on the car while the car is driving as long as you have the Wi-Fi connection in the car. So while I have my son connected to the tablet on his phone and my wife using it on her smartphone, I'm able to connect my car and now if we park the car and we're charging it, I'm able to watch Netflix and so on. Again, just the same as if I'm using a tablet, which makes it very, very nice. And now connectivity speeds are going to be depending on where you are. For the most part, this gets, uh, actually I was able to get pretty decent speeds as you're looking at it right there. I ran this in my backyard, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit more a close to home type of an experience. Speeds are pretty comparable depending on how connection, how, how good the connection that you're getting. And that's one of the new things with the 5G technology that we get with T-Mobile. It does actually get better uh, penetration into buildings as opposed to what we used to have with 4G LTE. Now, one of the main benefits I love using my, my T-Mobile hotspot with is this. This is the Logitech G Cloud. It's a cloud-based gaming system that relies on the internet to play internet games. There is no modem in here, so it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But the benefit of having a hotspot that features that connection for an all-day experience, that means I can be sitting in the car, traveling, and I'm always going to be connected and not have to worry about my network connection. And of course, I can play games on xCloud. I can play games directly, either online directly or watch Netflix movies. I can also even go in there and play GeForce Now or even Steam Link if I'm able to run them directly on the system that I'm on with Wi-Fi. For an all-day connection, all-day battery, up to 32 devices at the same time on T-Mobile 5G, with MediaTek processing power as well as the modem built in here that's powered by MediaTek, that's going to be the main benefit. 5G, 4G LTE, many devices, Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, on-the-go configuration, and the ability of customizing this entire experience with a device that lasts you all day. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is the home gateway from T-Mobile. Now, this one provides us the ability of actually connecting our home, our entire home life, to the internet. It features a built-in Wi-Fi router and, of course, uh, the modem as well as the processing power from MediaTek. And one of the main benefits here is essentially it's no different than a regular hotspot. You just pop in the SIM card, activate your account directly with T-Mobile, and you're good. We have a power connection, a USB-C connection for external storage, as well as two Ethernet ports in case you will need to connect 
connect the device, like you say, like an Xbox or something, directly to the internet connection. The biggest thing about this unit is that you need to place it at your home or in your home at a window or in a spot where there is a very good chance of getting it a very good signal. Like right now in my office, it keeps going from weak to good, uh, but the best optional connection that you're going to be able to get is when you get the bar all the way to the top. Now I did take this outside into my backyard where I was able to get actually a very good signal. Again, you see here it pops in and out of network connection. Uh, but that's mostly because of where I am. This is not optimal for my studio inside with all the technology around it. You put it on the window and you get it set up or you put it close to a window where you get the best signal and you're definitely going to get the best internet connection. Now, it does feature Wi-Fi 6, which is one of the best benefits, and it also does fall back on 4G LTE as well in case there's an area where there is no 5G. So depending on the connection, it will give you the best that you're able to connect there. The USB-C connection on the back is provided for additional storage, Ethernet ports for direct wire connection. But the main benefit here, the 5G modem that we have from uh, MediaTek allows us to have uh, basically the latest beam forming technology for extended Wi-Fi signal, which means you'll get a really good Wi-Fi coverage with Wi-Fi 6 in here, much faster. And of course, it's less congested than, wi -Fi, than just regular 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi in the home. Um, like the hotspot, it's also compatible with 4G LTE, as I mentioned to you guys. And it's easy to set up because you also have the ability of configuring it or running it with the T-Mobile app. Now, as far as connectivity or configuration, you do need to download the T-Mobile application and, of course, configure it from there. It'll actually give you the information as far as the device connected to the gateway and, of course, connected straight to the Internet. And you'll notice right there at the top next to the Wi-Fi connection, it does say Wi-Fi 6. So definitely providing us a higher frequency and less congested bandwidth and, of course, much better uh, coverage all around the home. And this is done with the MediaTek 5G modems that are built into the gateway with the beam forming technology to provide us basically that extended Wi-Fi coverage all throughout the house. Now, and the really nice thing here is with this application, you're able not only to customize the experience, change the password, uh, of course, configure the system. If you end up having to reset it, all of this information is done great. But again, make sure you're getting good, excellent or uh, good, very good or excellent connection and you're going to be set. Uh, one of the biggest benefits that I loved about this uh, unit itself is how small and how portable it is. And the display on this also gives us the information that we need. Again, providing us the ability of connecting additional storage to share over the network or connect it to Ethernet options. Uh, you can connect, uh, let's say, a small switch to this and even multiply those ports if you need it. Well ventilated, very nice build, and of course, 5G enabled with MediaTek built in inside. So I've been using these devices for the last month. The hotspot at home is absolutely fantastic. Once you find the right spot for this on in your home, it's going to basically give you the best coverage. Now, the biggest thing I will probably say is overall, the placement is going to be the most important part. And then after that, you're able to customize and get the experience that you want. Wi-Fi 6 does have a much better coverage and, of course, much better throughput as far as giving you the connection that you want. And, of course, the ability of running the 2.4 network is always going to work with if you have devices that don't support 5G. And I say that because some smart devices can only run on 2.4 gigahertz. And I found that the hard way. And a lot of times you don't know that unless you get to the point where you're upgrading to 5 gigahertz and you're noticing that basically the 5 gigahertz network is not supported on your smart device. So that's something to keep in mind. The hotspot on the go has been a lifesaver for me as far as me connecting, well, connecting myself, connecting my son, using it in the car, using it when we go for the swim meets. We're in areas where I don't want to drain the battery on my smartphone and I don't want to carry a power bank with me all the time. So the benefit of having that and having it basically be powered because of the media tech technology that we have in there, the large battery and the modems, they're very efficient and it's able to last us all day. Now, I'm not connecting 32 devices at the same time, but at one point I was able to connect about five different devices while we were sitting at a meet with my son and his friends sitting in there on their tablets and their phones. So it really made a much easier experience for me and took a lot less stress off of me having to worry about basically draining the battery on my smartphone. Now, when it comes down to the Revel 6 and the Revel 6 Pro, both of them are great smartphone, and I feel like uh, this is going to be basically more about the price point of this device. If $170 is something that you're looking for at a, for a smartphone, I think the Revel 6 is definitely very capable. You can uh, augment both the Revel 6 and the Revel 6 Pro's uh, internal storage with additional storage with the 2 terabyte SD card. The Dimensity 700 is a very powerful smart uh, SoC that provides us a basically well-balanced efficiency power performance experience on a smartphone. And the reason I say this is because it, you're able to last for a very long time with the HD or the HD Plus display and a 4500 or a 5000 milliampere battery. And that's the benefit of this processor. It's not a very demanding processor and it's also providing us an experience at a very affordable price point. So great bang for the buck. And of course, featuring some of the latest technologies of 5G on T-Mobile sub-6 technology. So 
At the end of the day, I do want to say thank you very much for MediaTek for sponsoring this video and allowing me to check out these technologies from T-Mobile. Now, I've been using T-Mobile for over 20 years. This is not me getting new to T-Mobile. I use them all the time. But I will say this, I never used their home internet. This is definitely an option for me now as far as connectivity. But on the go, this seriously became my like the center of all my connected devices. Even my car, my Tesla, I disabled or I canceled my $10 a month uh, connection fee because I really didn't need it. And whenever I'm sitting and I'm just waiting for my son to finish something, I can turn on the hotspot and the car is connected to the internet with 5G. I can watch Netflix, Hulu, anything that I want, and it runs really nice. And of course, with the Revels, as you can see in right there with those images, again, great options, great budget-friendly smartphone featuring 5G technology with the Mensity 700, of course, and all the goodness of what we get from T-Mobile. Like and subscribe as always, and thank you very much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.